Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 10. So yesterday, we sort of wrapped up our training on the Contacts applet, and today we're going to move on to the Tasks applet. So the Tasks applet is the second one, or third one down on your screen, second main applet. We're going to click on that to open the Tasks applet. And inside the task applet, you do have two tabs at the very top. You've got contact tasks and all opportunity tasks. We're going to come back to opportunity tasks a little bit later on in the challenge when we get into opportunities themselves. So stay tuned for that. But today we're really going to focus on contact tasks. So on this screen, you can see we do have our create new task button in the top right hand corner. We have the ability to search for a specific task name. We can filter our tasks based upon we want to see all tasks or just our call tasks. And I'll show you how to make a call task in just a second. And then our task status and a priority level. On the main screen as well, you have four tabs above your tasks. So what you need to do, this is kind of think about your all tasks tab, if you will, for contacts. And then you have a tab for those that have been completed, any that you may have archived, any that are expired, and then of course back to our main tab. So inside of the tasks to do, I wanted to kind of set up some sample tasks here for you. You can see that there's a phone icon next to this first task. This is a call task and the reason you might want to identify a specific task as a call task is if you download the KW Command app, which we're going to cover at the end of the video or the end of the challenge series here, you can actually make your calls from your phone using the command app, um, and it'll list out which one of those are call tasks. So this is important. Uh, also, if you have a Mac, you can go through the process of connecting your Mac to your iPhone, and then actually make your calls through your phone that way. So uh, that's why you would want to identify call tasks separately. If you see when we click on this, any of the tasks that we click on, right, you're gonna get information on the task itself. So what is it? task name, a task description, follow up on home search. So I wrote this in when I created the task, the due date, and then any additional notes as well. On the right hand side, if you choose to associate a contact with the task, you'll see the contact name, their email address, their phone number, the last time you contacted them, any tags you have associated with them, and then any contact notes. So let's go through the process quickly of creating a new task, and then I'll show you how we complete a task or archive a task. So anytime a command you wanna start something new, again, always that blue button in the top right, here's the create task modal or pop-up. The first thing it says is, hey, do you wanna associate any specific contacts with this task? So you can have a task that may just be send out, or uh, yeah, send out all uh, Thanksgiving recipe cards, right? And maybe you're putting together the recipe. So finalize recipe, get mailing list by stamps completed, right? So this is a bunch of tasks. We're just going to get it all in one. This is a high priority and I have got to get this done no later than next Wednesday in order for them to get into the mail by the 24th. So I would apply that on the 16th right? And then we can actually choose a time. So be careful. It defaults to 11.59 p.m., which means the task would not show up in your task list for that day and until the end of the day. So I'd always recommend changing this. So let's say we wanted to get that done no later than uh, 1 o'clock p.m. We're going to put that in to show up at 1 o'clock p.m., right? We can apply that. If you had a hyperlink, you could create an additional hyperlink down here and create the task. Now you'll see on these tasks, I actually associated a specific contact with the task. And so you can do that by actually associating contacts. And so that's when everything would actually show up. So I could say, hey, let's follow up with Peter. Uh, we need to check in and see how was the open house uh, did Stewie like it, right? Uh, Stewie needs new house, uh, check in, right? And then we could do a priority level. Uh, that's probably a medium priority. We wanna do that um, 
let's do it tomorrow, all right? And let's do it during lead gen time. So we'll do maybe 9.30 a.m. is when I want that to show up to remind me. I can click on apply and no hyperlink there. I can create the task. Now I could, if I had a hyperlink for, with a specific listing to remind me what house they held open or what house they visited as an open house or what listing they were looking at, I could put that in there to remind me as well. You can see as we add these tasks, they're continuing to be added and you can sort these columns by priority level or due date. You can also filter here at the top on what's past due, what's due today, what's due tomorrow, next week, and think about next week as more like next seven days. Uh, and then finally you have anything past that mark. So things that would be due later. Those are filters that we're essentially clicking on. So if you wanted to go back to your full task list, you would just clear your filter and there are all of your tasks. Now, let's say we want just what to do tomorrow. We're gonna to get ahead. So we call Marty McFly. We wanna complete this task. So it's gonna ask us, hey, how did it go? So this was a call task. So it's gonna give us specific call task follow-up. So are you sure you wanna mark it as complete? You can't revert it. What was the outcome of this interaction? So uh, we talked and he's still working. Sorry, my keyboard's a little jacked up this morning. We're working on his credit call back in uh, six months. Something along those lines, right? And we can complete the task. So you can see that removes it from our list and it would now be under the completed task list. Now let's say that we talked, Peter Griffin actually called us today. So I don't need to call him tomorrow per se. So I can either choose to complete this task or I can just archive it if I've already added notes. So we can go in and we can choose to archive the task. In addition, if we say, oh, let's reschedule it. Okay, so we talked today, but let's call him again in seven days just to follow up. You can also reschedule to a specific date and time as well. So let's say next Friday, we'll call him 930 still good. We'll apply that and reschedule that's gonna move that task now to do later, and you'll see that on the list for do later, right? So here it is, how was the open house? So that's a quick run through on contact tasks. When we get into smart plans, I'm gonna show you that you can actually automate these tasks as well. There's a variety of smart plans that will automate specific tasks that will show up, uh, but that was a run through on how you can create one-off custom contact-based or activity-based uh, tasks inside of your tasks applet. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always, guys, and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.